actually I stumbled upon it. When I was in my 20s, I was walking my college. Then I uh, walked into a door that says, do you want to be a business owner? And that was the entrepreneurship association at my school. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't, I had never thought about being a business owner or a CEO or a founder. So that's where everything started. Then uh, I started doing startups business. Some were very, I'm gonna say very organically what I knew at the moment. So one of the first that I did was a local magazine that uh, sold advertising for local businesses. And that's when I learned that advertising is pretty hard. If you wanna have a business that relies on advertising, it's difficult. And then I started doing uh, more complicated things like an uh, app studio where we developed apps for large companies. I started an Uber for doctors. So pretty much the idea was you got an app called for a doctor and they would come and do a house visit. And uh, now I'm working on my new company, Minerva Robotics. I guess that doing startups is all about learning. So you make a lot of mistakes. It's constantly like, you mess up, you make it good. And then uh, if things are, 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 are meant to be, they will happen. You cannot force it. So I have learnings uh, on different like scenarios. How to handle my business partners and associates, how to find customer feed, uh, when to stop, reframe, pivot, a bunch of stuff. So I, I guess like the biggest learning is that you have to do something that you truly love. Because business, as they grow and scale, become more difficult. So if you, have, you don't have the passion and love for it, it's, it's not going to work. I started a few months, months ago Minerva Robotics, and we are making a robotic tortilla shop. And the reason we, we are doing this is because it's very difficult to find a good quality tortilla. If I have to frame it uh, like in comparison to another uh, business, it's like if the only cup of coffee you could get was a 7-Eleven coffee, that's good, it works. But sometimes you want something nicer and a bunch of people want nicer things all the time. And the other reason is that tortilla shops are uh, outdated. The technology lacks uh, about 50 years. And uh, we want to create like a higher quality tortilla, but the process is way too labor intensive. It's very difficult. You have to train to do it for five to seven years. So we just put together uh, artificial intelligence, computer vision, machine learning, advanced manufacturing, and are creating a robot that can make tortillas pretty easily. So it's just like you push a button and then you get your tortilla. And the idea is to create a, like a small network, well, a big network of uh, nationwide small entrepreneurs that can have those tortilla shops and they can help us build the national brand of, of, of the uh, evolution of tortillas. Well, I guess it all depends on how far along are you. I know that many, many kids, many teens that uh, see this interview uh, may have an idea. And others will be like, wow, I can make my own business. And they will start to look for solutions and problems. So um, if you're, you're starting, I guess that, that the uh, biggest uh, thing you have to do is uh, realize if there's a, a pain that has to be solved. Not every idea you have will find a market because uh, good companies solve a problem that someone is experiencing. So there are many different uh, ways to measure that. You can have hard metrics and soft ones. So uh, my, my, my two cents on this would be to have a lot of soft metrics. You know, there's A for effort. You will know if you're making enough effort to find uh, a quality and, and ready, uh, market ready solution. Mm -hmm. And then you can hop onto harder metrics like traction. How many people are buying what you are doing? How many people like what you're proposing? If you are doing customer discovery, how many uh, customers have said, yeah, I have that problem. So it's just like uh, when you are doing a project in school, just setting the four or five things you want to measure and then trying to stick to them and having like a weekly progress report where you can easily say like, yeah, I have to make 10 customer interviews. Yeah, I have made 10 out of them. Or I only made five. Why did I miss on the other five? 
So uh, there are many methodologies that you can follow, like the Lean Startup. Um, there are investors or uh, VC funds that have a lot of uh, topics and blog posts about this. But I guess that the, the most important is uh, finding out if you have a customer out there and you are building a solution that they want to buy. The main point is uh, having a guide and understanding if you are making progress or not. And if you don't have an actual scale on how to measure that, then you will just make efforts that may be very well intended, but you are not building a business. Creating a startup, it's all about value. It's value creation. So you want to know how, how good or bad you're doing it. Even if you're bad and you suck at doing business, that can be fixed. Because uh, it's more important that you have the passion, that you are the uh, person that knows more about that problem than just uh, knowing how to build a business. That can be thought. But you have to start somewhere and, and grade yourself to know if you are making progress or not. I would say that you have to start with the double L. Love what you're doing and learn faster than anyone. Because if you love it, then you will bring passion and passion makes everything better. And uh, learning is the other thing that can set you apart. Because if you are really into something, then competitors will come your way. But you have to outlearn them, it's just like in school. Know the facts, know the history, know how it works. That's about the double L.